Welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician and today we're going to be going back into a one tool review. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys might want to check out some of my previous one tool review videos to get a better understanding of what this series is all about. If you guys follow along with the channel, you guys already know we are on the final and eighth screwdriver of this series. So after this one, we will finally get into the showdown. I know it's been a while. I should have never done so many screwdrivers for this series, but it is what it is. So we're going to get into it. And then next we'll either do wrenches or ratchets or, you know, whatever you guys want to see. So we're getting close to the end for the screwdrivers. So we'll go over the specs, pricing, my thoughts, all of that information. I'll share it with you in this video. And then for the showdown, keep in mind, it's basically just going to be lining up the screwdrivers from last to first. And I'll kind of give my thoughts on why I'll share the categories in which I graded them on and things like that. Uh, so there won't be a whole lot of details on the specific screwdrivers in that video because it would be ridiculously long. Uh, so if you haven't, if you see the showdown and you see one of the screwdrivers that you really like, make sure to go ahead and check out that one tool review if you guys haven't watched it yet. So let's go ahead and dive right in. If I forget to mention anything, please feel free to drop it down in the comments. Keep in mind that these tools as well as many other tools that I suggest will be linked down in the description for you guys underneath the tools and tools continued link. We also have merch available now. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, it's down there as well, but let's go ahead and get into this. Okay. So for the final one tool review, as far as screwdrivers, we're going to be looking at the PB Swiss heavy duty Phillips head number two. This is a four inch blade like it's supposed to be this time. If you guys haven't checked out the previous video on the Philo and any of the others, we have went over many different screwdrivers. So go ahead and check that out. I messed up on this one and ordered one that was three times too long. Uh, but that's besides the point. So originally my eighth screwdriver that I was going to go with was actually the Nepros wood handle. And I had all of these different ones saved on Amazon. But by the time I got to purchase the Nepros, it had went from $24 to $40 basically everywhere I looked. And I wasn't about to drop $40 on one screwdriver. So I started getting back into the other brands. Uh, there are a lot of brands out there made in Germany, Japan, America, there's a lot. So this is just eight of the options that you have. So I decided to go with the PB Swiss over the Nepros because we've already went over two different wood handle ones. So this is the next best one that I could find that I was interested in. So I will go over some of the other information that you may want to know as far as what PB Swiss has to offer. And then we'll get into some of this information. So they have a few different designs. They have a classic grip, which is going to be different from their standard grip. This is their Swiss grip, and this is the heavy duty Swiss grip. The classic grip is your more plastic material kind of handle. So they have these two design or three, if you count this as a different handle design. Then they also have the ESD drivers, which are their electronic safety screwdrivers. Uh, they also have ratcheting and interchangeable blade screwdrivers, so a couple different options there. And then they also have a variety of different tips, you know, Phillips, slotted, hex, posi drive, many of those to offer. So they have quite a large lineup. As far as pricing uh, for each individual screwdriver, depending on what uh, handle design you go with and the length and everything, they're going to range from $5 to $35. And then for sets, in all different designs, it's going to average $45 to $100 depending on the size of set that you get. And then that doesn't count their interchangeable blade screwdriver sets. Those are going to range around $140 to $160 on average just because those are quite large sets. Uh, so just keep that in mind. That's it as far as the different designs and options that they have available. So getting into this screwdriver, we are looking at the, once again, PB Swiss Heavy Duty, <laughs> duty, made in Switzerland. And on here you can see Swiss made. Then it has the part number, Swiss tool, PB Swiss tools, and the barcode. And then on the top side, you're going to have a yellow plastic cap with a striking cap, and it's going to say Phillips head number two by 100. That's what we have. Uh, 100 is your four inch blade. So as far as dimensions, 
It is a four inch blade from tip to the bottom of the hex bolster. The handle is going to be approximately four and three eighths inches long. So the total length is going to be eight and three eighths inches long. It is a non-magnetic tip, but that doesn't really matter. You can always magnetize the tip if you would like or demagnetize it. And then I got to looking at this. And hopefully you guys can see when you look at the base of this blade, but above the hex bolster, you can see a clean line right here. And I'm just not sure if that was just machine work into the bolster or if that's actually a weld. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the blade is obviously perfectly straight, but all the other hex bolsters that I had looked at that I own don't have anything like that. This is the only one that I've seen that actually kind of goes down. There's kind of like a valley in there. Not sure if you can really pick that up on camera or not, but uh, that's just something I noticed. It almost looks like a little weld down there that was cleaned up that actually holds the blade to the hex bolster and then there's another blade. It is a full tang through handle design so the blade goes all the way to this striking cap on the end. As far as the handle you're looking at once again another dual material handle. You can see the inner portion is the yellow plastic and then you see it once again at the end for the striking cap. Uh, and then all of the black material here is a rubberized material and it is a six-sided screwdriver So you have six valleys and six hills here uh, It does a decent job of preventing it from rolling. They're not the biggest um, Sides or anything like that. So it's not like a trilobe where it's Very unlikely for it to roll away. This could roll away, but with its six sides it does help prevent that overall the the comfort of the handle is very comfortable it's a little bit different than uh, basically all the others that we have went over I'd say the most like the other screwdrivers would be the Vessel Wood Compo and the Vessel Megadora which this uh, was the first one that we did and this was the third one that we did both fantastic screwdrivers but overall a very comfortable handle. I do like how they have they've carried the six sides into the front here so you can still kind of apply torque that way as well and then once again if you are one I'm not really one that uses a hex bolster but with the heavy duty ones you do get that with the standard design there is no striking cap and there is no hex bolster it is just your classic handle with a quality blade but this has a couple other features. This specific screwdriver, I want to say, ran me $22, so priced pretty dang well. And then, like I was saying, I like how they carried this feature up here at the front and then with the back. I like when they keep it a plastic or a smooth material because that allows you to really apply pressure and still be able to spin it in your palm very easily or when you're just, you know, not necessarily using a lot of force, but being able to spin that in your palm but still grip the rest of the handle allows you to work pretty quickly uh, whereas a full rubber grip it wouldn't want to spin in your hand quite as easily so that is nice you can still get a lot of torque while still moving very quickly so that is nice the striking cap is also fairly small it's not the smallest one we've seen so far you do see here on the Philo wood grip it is quite small it's not a full cap but definitely enough to uh, make a good quality striking cap. That striking feature can be very handy, especially when working with rusted fasteners. When looking at the blade, it is a brushed finish. You do see Phillips head number two on there, and then the serial number. And then there's no fancy feature like the jaws fit or the laser tip like we see in some of the other brands, but it is a good quality blade and it fits the fasteners very well. So let's go ahead and test this out. If there's any information that you guys would like to know that I didn't mention, please feel free to drop a comment down below. Also keep in mind that when it comes to their hexes and their different, like their posi drive and things like that, they are color coded by these caps here. So one is green and one is pink and or magenta. But I, don't, I don't know. There's different colors and then they also have like their holiday 
package or what they have some colored ones just so you guys are aware uh, they have quite a big lineup so let's go ahead we have our test block here that we've used on all of the other screwdrivers we have just some standard wood screws some countersunk smaller screws some button heads some of them are slightly rounded off to see how it performs and uh, just a variation of different screws some of them are put in at kind of an angle to try and you know make it a little bit more difficult you know a quick test that still allows us to get an accurate feel for how this screwdriver performs So it performed really well. It did good with the couple of slightly stripped off fasteners here. The overall fitment is really nice on this screwdriver, even without a fancy um, anti-slip feature, or, you know, those fancy features to prevent you from camming out a screw. It has performed very well. And so far I've used this screwdriver for about a week and really enjoyed it. And the blade is holding up quite nicely. No deformation or twisting or chipping or anything like that. So overall, a very nice screwdriver. These are the ones that we have went over so far, so stay tuned for the showdown where we will place these screwdrivers in order from worst to best. Even the worst one is a fantastic screwdriver. I don't dislike any of these screwdrivers. So we have the Vessel Megadora, the Vessel Ball Grip, the Vessel Wood Compo, the Vera Craftform, the Southwire USA Made, the Philo wood handle, the Philo 2 component, and the Swiss heavy duty screwdriver. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're interested in any of these, these screwdrivers will be linked down in the description for you guys, as well as many other tools that I suggest. We also have a merch drop now. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, that link is down below as well. And stay tuned for the showdown.